Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Look at the hair today. It's extra special today. This is because I was teaching this morning and I got rained on. So we've got the fluff and the slightly damp look. Very attractive, I know, but we'll roll with it like always. Um, it's a funny old day today. Obviously, being a horse person, you've got to talk about the weather first in any vlog. Uh, Friday, we had torrential rain all day. Just did not stop all day. Yesterday, it was super windy here. We had like gusts of 46 miles an hour. It was and windy um and then today a little mixture of both <laughs> wet and windy uh i actually need to ride my guys a little bit later i've had quite a quiet week this week work wise i've still been going in but i had a bit of a i say a bit why do we say a bit of a fall i had a fall on tuesday and i did hit the ground quite hard um it's so funny because obviously i did my last vlog about being a freelance rider and obviously you know with work and riding horses for a living you've always got the chance that you might end up hitting the deck and it just like yeah happened this week at work one of those things like it's fine um but it just hurt <laughs> it just hurt quite a bit um i really came down like um kind of on my chest and like caught my ribs at the top thankfully not the ribs that got broken last year um but it just it was just quite sore quite sore and getting on and then like twisting as you get on into the saddle slightly took my breath away for the first few days afterwards i was like <gasps> then when you're like oh god that hurt but feeling so much better now and the bruising's calmed down a bit and I just don't feel quite as sore anymore so that's all good um which is why I haven't been mine this week because I just felt like I needed to be able to like take things a bit more gently um and I just did work horses because uh, I get paid for that um and my guys had a bit of a quiet week which is fine I mean it's been wet and windy so I thought actually of all the weeks not a bad week for them to have a quiet one so like I say gonna take them out later poor Sienna came in actually it was early this week with her glands up on the side of her face and I was like mm, what's going on there um my initial thoughts was grass glands not anything more sinister um sometimes strangles can present themselves with horses with their glands up but no strangles here. Um, these were purely grass glands that had popped up. And I don't know what she'd been eating at the top of the field, but something that obviously she'd had a bit of allergic reaction to because she'd come in, they'd go down. Ooh, hear the rain in the background. Um, she'd come in, they'd go down, and then you turn her back out in the field, they'd go back up again. So I've swapped their pens and put them back down the bottom. So it's been fine ever since. So um, yeah, so we sorted that problem out and they both seem really well, the horses at the moment. So yeah, I've got a really good pole exercise. I think this is a tricky pole exercise as well. Like I last night I was thinking, what well, I wanted to make a pole kind of creation setup that was just going to really test the horse and rider that little bit more. Raised poles are always good for this, but poles on curved lines and like changing the curves, so going from one like, kind of one bend to another bend using poles is really good for horses. Like great for their core strength, great for making them use their hind quarters. And sort of just getting the bend and the suppleness through their bottle. What, oh, bottle. It's a Sunday. I can never talk properly on Sunday. Getting their, that bend and curve through their body as they're doing poles is just so good for them. Um, and I like my creation. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, this was all my own idea. There may be something already similar out there. But I genuinely didn't look anything up. I just, like, drew out what I wanted. Um, and I think it works well lots of changing the rain you can do it from different directions you can do like you can join up lots of different pieces of it you're going to see in the footage in a second kindly lolly and bills demonstrated it for me so i could film it from the ground which was great and so hopefully i can show you all the different lines you can take and just how good it can be for the horse but they did a very good job you can do it in water and canter as all my exercises always are you can do it from every direction near enough and yeah it worked a treat really did so I'll put that up on the screen now, do a bit of talk over, and I will see you guys again next week. Welcome to come what only be described as the world's worst diagram, and it makes it more complicated than it actually is. But this was my original plan of an exercise. So you start with the turquoise dots, you go to the purple dots, then you go to the orange dots, and then you go to the lime green dots. So that was my original exercise, but you can kind of go wherever you want and mix it up as much as you want. So there is a square box in the middle, and then there are curved poles going kind of off of the corner of each box. And some of them are canter pole distances, some of them are trot pole distances. We, in fact, only did trot in this session but you could canter some of this if you wanted you perhaps just wouldn't do such technical lines as you can in the trot and the great thing with curved poles is it really gets the horse to engage its hindquarters takes a little bit more weight behind it gets them to curve and bend through their body through the rib cage again this makes them really have to step under and through with their hindquarters you can see here with billy like he's really having to step through and under getting so much more lift getting more power 
it's just such a great exercise and also because you can constantly change the rein, you can do a circle one side you can go off in different diagonals as you go over the poles the horse never quite knows what's coming up so it really gets it thinking about where it's putting its feet it can't predict where you're going to turn so it can't get a little bit fast or a little bit kind of like knows where it's going because it really won't know where it's going and you can just keep mixing it up changing the rein. remember i said i really like exercises where i don't have to get off and change it and this exercise works for that i can keep changing the lines as much as i want or in this case lolly you could also add transitions in so you could add some transitions maybe in the box or outside the box to also work with your horse but i just like the lift it was giving bills his he was opening up his stride more he was definitely starting to soften through his body you could see more suppleness coming through and he's he naturally lacks suppleness this little horse again really working on the rider not losing the outside shoulder as they go over the curved poles it's very easy for the horse just to drift out so you have to really make sure you keep your outside leg on especially as you often turn back and go back to the middle square of poles you really had to be careful not to lose the horse's outside shoulder because it was quite quite a tight turn back if i had a bigger school i would probably have spaced this out a little bit more and given more room but as you know we don't here so you know we just, that just makes it a little bit more testing you could raise more of the poles if you wanted we didn't try it in canter as i said this would have been a hard exercise in canter and if we'd done it in canter i wouldn't have made lolly turn back on herself quite as much so you would have given ourselves more room